we're looking for guys that have command. Command of themselves, command of their minds, command of the ball, and ultimately the command of their team. You find those guys, you pour your life into them, you pour the resources of people that spend a lifetime coaching, playing this position, and what you've learned is now they'll have better command of their future teams, their college teams, their pro teams, and they'll extend that influence to all the people that they have influence over. That's the beauty of Elite 11. We hear it, we say it, we believe it. But can we see it? The It Factor. When the game's online, you can see it in a person's eyes. It's noticeable. The It Factor. Great competitors find a way. Ready. The It Factor. You can call it swagger call it preparation, I'm gonna call it hard work, and I'm gonna call it consistency. They make the players around them better. The It Factor. Welcome to the It Factory. How many of you ever heard of the phrase, the It Factor? It's like the most undefinable phrase in the history of sports and performance. Sometimes you can see it, but you can't describe it. Our staff, we're looking for those undefinable traits, all the intangible elements we will be evaluating. Yes, this is a quarterback competition. We are looking for the, not just the 11 best quarterbacks, but the top competitors in the entire country. We've had 11 out of the last 13 Heisman Trophy winners have been elite 11 quarterbacks. 10 out of the last 13 national championship teams were quarterbacked by elite 11 quarterbacks. All right? The last seven guys taken number one, quarterbacks taken number one in the draft, including Goff this year, elite 11 quarterbacks. <laughs> 26 out of 32 starters in the NFL, elite 11 quarterbacks. We traveled around the country. We hit 14 different regional camps. Big major markets, your Bay Area, Los Angeles, Dallas, Atlanta, Miami, New York, New Jersey, DC, all over the country, every weekend in the spring, February through May. Put your cleats on, step out on this football field, and like I like to tell them, hey, five stars, three stars, no stars, that doesn't matter to us. We want to see kids with our own eyeballs. Our goal at Elite 11, and Nike supports us, to go around the country and give everyone a chance. I mean. It, Several thousand try to get into a regional workout, but some of them are in fourth grade, and we're not ready for that. The Elite 11 does a good job of giving kids more tools in their toolbox to get to where they want to be, which ultimately is the NFL. You look at the brand, it's 14 first-round picks. That's, I mean, there's schools that don't have 14 first-round picks. <laughs> we combine the evaluation of their film, which is a huge part of it for us, it's 50%, 25% on what we see your performance at the regional camp, and then 25% as well on the physical traits. So combining all those metrics, that's how we come up with the list of the 24 that come out to join us in Los Angeles for the Elite 11 Finals. This is a competition, part camp learning, part competition. I wanna see who has it. LA, it's early season regionals. I mean, it's the second regional of the year. And some of these guys come and they expect to dominate and earn their way right away. But you still gotta earn it with us. Good job, good job, good job. Good, 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 good. Go! Full shot. Uh, my experience at the LA regionals, I came out kind of a little nervous, a little tight. Step through it, step through it, step through it. Don't slide through, step through it. I wasn't having fun, I wasn't me out there. Chase Garbers is gonna be my MVP. Yep. He kinda came from the bottom and worked his way above Sears, you know, he kinda earned his way up there. Our second invite to the Elite 11 Finals for Bishop Gorman, Tay Martell. Jack is a dude, but that day, he didn't have it. I did not get invited in LA. The quarterback position is very artistic. And I think that Chris Roberson is exactly that. I consider his play almost abstract art. He's poetry in motion. 
And when you look at him creatively, that's how his mind operates. And if you've ever been around an artist, when they get into their flow, when they get into their zone, no one can touch them. I'm getting invited today. <laughs> He's got a juice about him that not too many other guys in this class do. Here they go! Last right, step on this, here we go. Nice shot, my man. Sam! I came out the womb to compete. He is different. He's not 100% football like all these guys. He has a lot of interests. If you had three people, dead or alive, to go to dinner with tonight, who would they be? Elton John, John Lennon, Abe Lincoln. Asking the quarterbacks unconventional questions, it's just a, another way to gauge their personality, another way to gauge what do they prioritize in their life. How many instruments do you play? None. For the musicians you just named? Yeah, but I just, I just, I have, just love the sound. I, I listen to music like 24-7. Every year, we have a kid that beats the tune of their own drum. <laughs> Chris is that kid. Butterflies is what I feel inside. My other side, it's, it's a little goofy. I just like to have fun. I'm good with that. What makes a quarterback great is when you have conviction with who you are, that I am comfortable being me. I think Chris fits into that. He will be at his best when people let him be his eccentric self. MVP from Mesquite Hard, Chris Robeson. Come on up, Chris. Good job today, buddy. Nice work. We're all good quarterbacks, but I feel like I'm the best in the nation. Some kids that come out to the regionals and they have nerves or they're, they're looking around and worrying about what other guys are doing and how they're throwing. When we saw Davis Mills uh, at the Charlotte Regional, the regional for him was just another workout. Oh, he can throw now. I'm trying to think back to some of the most polished guys we've had. Andrew Luck was awfully polished a few years back. I think Davis is right there. Does he not finish just like Andrew Luck? <laughs> It's like freaky. I think the Davis Mills high school highlight tape is the best highlight tape that I've ever evaluated. There's really nothing that jumps out that he can't do. What we look at when we evaluate, base balance low, being able to control the ball, being able to play in conflict, disassociating your upper and lower half, he checks the box on everything. And when I'm watching his film, I catalog probably over 10 throws that were elite level throws. You're saying this kid can not only control the ball, he can control his mind, he can control the environment, and he's gonna be a big time player at Stanford. Here's one for you. Three people dead or alive. You can pick their brain on anything you want. Who are you yeah. taking to dinner tonight? Oh, uh, probably Martin Luther King. George Washington. And then uh, Kanye West. Kanye West? Yeah. Obviously. It's different. It's different. It's different. It's different yeah. What would you ask him? Just some of the decisions he is and like how public he is with everything. Yeah. Just how he deals with all the critics and stuff. You just fill in the blanks that you value as quarterback traits and he has them. But I think bigger than that, he's got a super quiet mind. And the, the noise never gets too loud. The pressure never gets too intense. I think he cares as much as anybody. But I think life is bigger than this position. If I throw an interception, I'm. I'm fine. If I throw a touchdown, I'm not going to celebrate and go crazy. It's just fun to be out there and keep a calm head and be the man for your team. His size, his frame, I mean, just prototypical NFL first round draft pick. He's my number one. And if I had to start a program, he would be my guy. 